Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Catio Chat this morning. We didn't have an escort today to the kitchen, but I know my way around pretty good. <laughs> There's Loki at the door. Loki's going out. Going out, Loki. Good boy. Want to check the weather? Want to check the weather? Hey. Well, there's your door. Is it too cold? Hmm. Loki's weather report might mean it's too cold to go. No, nope. there he goes. Loki's gonna do the weather. It actually feels pretty mild out there this morning. Good morning, Luna. How are you today? Hey. How are you doing today? Oh, ain't she buddy? Yeah, there she is. I hear Mr. Bear. Hi, Bear and Miss Muffy. There's Bear. Want your chair out? There you go, buddy. There's Miss Muffy, Mr. Bear. We saw Luna. Let's see where Loki is. Is he in here? No, I don't see him in there. Loki, I'm going for Loki and I just let him outside. Oh my. Yeah, that's because I'm senior now. <laughs> I do things like that. <laughs> Let's get the coffee pot on. <laughs> there we go. I'm looking for Loki and I just let him outside. Well, <laughs> it is early. I got up about 10 after 5, so... It's early. You can make dumb mistakes like that at this hour of the morning. There goes Bear. He likes to get up on the table. He can be even bigger up there. And you see Loki's little face, but I think he's looking for someone to come out. Hi, Loki! There he is. Here he comes. There he goes. Loki's heading to the no, heading to the basement steps. Hi, Bear. You want a pet? Oh, oh my. He wants a pet. <laughs> Bear's a very affectionate boy. Yeah, he loves affection. There goes Miss Muffy. Whoops. There. Yeah. Go say hi to Miss Muffy. Miss Muffy is our incredibly special kitty because she's going to be 25 in August. Aren't you, Miss Muffy? Yeah. She can't hear me talking about her because she's deaf, but she's going to be 25 in August. Still doing really, really well. Still looks after herself. Goes outdoors and does her little rounds that she loves to do. She likes to visit the neighbor's bird feeder, but she just sits underneath and watches. They must be quite amazed to see her still coming over after 24 and a half years <laughs> of visiting. <laughs> they probably feed her for all I know. Yeah, so yes, we've got quite a, a cute crew here. We've got four kitties. Three of them are Maine Coon cats. One of them is a little Torby. She would be a tabby and a, I always forget this, torty, I guess. It's a cross between a tabby and a torty. So, she's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And there's our big Loki. There he goes. He's going to go in and have a little drink, I think. Or a little pick at the scratching post. Yeah, and there's Bear and Luna. They haven't moved. Hi, Bear. And there's Luna. Here's my painting. I worked on it yesterday quite a bit. It's starting to look like something, I guess. <laughs> well, there's the picture I'm going by underneath. Did you want to go out, sweetie? You can go out.
Chances are you won't, though. Nope. 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 We do a whole lot of door opening here for no reason. <laughs> oh, now this is the guy who likes to go out. Here goes Loki. Loki's our weather cat. He likes to go out well, almost every day and do a weather report for us. <laughs> yeah, so today my, uh, whoops, tripping over cat toys. Today my little, not so little grandson's coming over for a sleepover. Hey. Yeah, my grandson's 13 and he's not so little. He's about six feet tall. I don't know how he got so tall. Yeah. 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 But he's such a gentle boy. Just very sweet. So he's coming over to stay overnight tonight. He loves coming to visit the Foots. They love him too. Maine Coon cats actually are extremely good with children. Aren't they bear? Extremely good with children and other pets. They're, um, they're just very, well, hello. <laughs> they uh, just get along really well with, oh dear, other cats and pets and people. Yeah. And Miss Muppy, she's a one person putty. She imprinted on me when she was just a teeny tiny. She was probably only two months old when we got her. And uh, she imprinted on me, that's for sure. Some kitties are are one one person puts, aren't they, Bear? Bear's not, he loves everyone. Right? Yeah. Bear loves everyone. Luna, she doesn't love everyone. Well, Luna loves people, that's for sure. Oh, oh, the itch, oh, it's scratched. Oh, the itch is. Oh, he loves to have his chest, chest rubbed. <laughs> there. Oh, there. Oh, that must be us. I'm good. <laughs> Do you see Loki out there, Lou? <laughs> Bear's still in heaven. <laughs> Do you see Loki out there? You want to go out? Again? It's nice out. Yeah. You gonna try? Mm, I would say no. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, and my grandson's coming over to stay overnight. Ever since he was a little baby, he's always stayed overnight whenever he comes to visit. So he's 13 now. He loves to still come and visit and stay overnight, and I imagine that will probably come to an end at some point because teenage boys don't hang out with their nanas too long. <laughs> he's just looking for Loki, but I'm gonna say he's probably still outside. I can't remember. <laughs> he must be. Luna's still looking out. Yeah, there, there we go. Well, we've seen everybody, and everybody is in fine fiddle. Yeah, they're in fine fiddle. My son's a violin player, so, uh, well, he plays a violin, he doesn't play a fiddle. <laughs> he started out playing a fiddle, now he plays in an orchestra, so now he plays a violin. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, we better wrap this up. Call it Catio Chat for today. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.